now to Ticketmaster uh, feeling the heat. Mm -hmm. U.S. Senators grilling the organization over its Taylor Swift tour fiasco. Politicians <laughs> using the singer's lyrics to vent their frustration. <laughs> Ticketmaster had the temerity to imply that the debacle involved in pre-ticket sales was Taylor Swift's fault. May I suggest respectfully that Ticketmaster ought to look in the mirror and say, I'm the problem. It's me. As a uh, ode to Taylor Swift, I will say, we know all too well. A lot of people seem to think that's somehow a solution. I think it's a, it's a nightmare dressed like a daydream. A few million Taylor Swift fans would respond, this is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> I love it. There is a lot of uh, bad blood. Ooh. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes. yes. And with Taylor expected to announce an Australian tour, will history repeat itself Ooh. here? To give us some insight, we bring in former White House Director of Events, Laura Schwartz. Such weighty matters. <laughs> Isn't it though? So? It takes the Swifties to actually get Congress to, to act on something. Scary. It's, scary. it's kind of crazy when you think that it's Taylor Swift that's actually brought the Democrats yeah. and Republicans together. <laughs> the great uniter, Taylor Swift. I cannot tell you how much fun the staffers for those members of Congress had going through Taylor's lyrics and finding some really great comebacks that you just showed. I mean, it was kind of an entertaining hearing yesterday. Um, listen, uh, the committee has, all, has called Ticketmaster a, a, a monopoly that hinders competition mm -hmm. and harms mm -hmm. consumers. This is the significant part of this as well. Yeah. Uh, is, is that uh, considered a fair statement? It is, Carl, because this really brought to light the fact that in 2010, Live Nation and Ticketmaster combined. The Justice Department signed off on it with certain expectations that there would still be competition in the market because Ticketmaster is now a concert promoter, a venue owner, and in charge of ticket sales. And they've got between 70 and 80 percent of the market. So it really blocks all other competition. And it makes it difficult for the artists to make money on their concerts, on, on average. And it also takes away the competitive pricing of tickets, as well as those fees that the fans see when they get tickets. Mm. And this is the thing, isn't it, when there's a bit of a monopoly, people just become lazy because the major problem faced in November was these <laughs> online bots, which snatched up the tickets before yeah. customers. But everyone's sort of saying, well, you're a company that should be across this kind mm. of stuff at the very least. Exactly. Well, and their algorithms should be ready for this. I mean, we've got, and it was made known yesterday, you've got schools, utility companies, corporations all throughout the country, the world that deals with bots every day. You know as Ticketmaster, when you open those ticket sales for Taylor Swift, and anyone else for that matter that you know is going to draw a big crowd, you know what you're facing. And you also know the secondary market for tickets. And so they really failed. They fell down flat on their face and was called out because it happened to be Taylor Swift. Hey, Schwartzy, uh, I know you can't reveal your yeah. exact location no. this morning, um, uh, but um, I wonder, <laughs> because it's Australia Day here in Australia, I know you love the country. Yeah, uh, what is your I do. What is your favourite Aussie word? My favourite Aussie, oh, oh, hands down, it's crikey. Because I can <laughs> oh, say yes. it in front of my nieces and nephews <laughs> and they don't know what I'm saying. Crikey. Crikey. Beautiful yep, stuff. Definitely crikey. Thanks, Schwartzy. Have a beautiful day. Right across <laughs> the country. You. you are watching today and we're loving being